You guys should all know by now that a lot of actors are nothing like who they portray on screen. And a lot of the actors that are known to be hilarious and lovable in their movies can actually be the complete opposite in real life. That's why today on Beyond the Screen, I'm going to be exposing mean actors. I'm Mackenzie and let's get into the top 10 actors who are mean in real life. And subscribe if you're new here. In at number 10, we have Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase has had so many bad interactions with people over the years, we truly just do not have the time to name them all. One story came from comedian Rob Hubel, who was so excited to meet the star. However, when Hubel approached him and tried to talk to Chevy, Chevy Chase responded by slapping him in the face, then saying, quote, can't you see I'm talking to someone, kid? Excuse me, what? Slapping someone because they tried to talk to you? Chevy is also the only former SNL cast member that is banned from the show because he slapped cast member Cherry O'Terry while he was guest hosting in 1997. He was also known at SNL for being very insensitive with his jokes, basically insulting anyone and everyone. According to the book Saturday Night, a backstage history of Saturday Night Live, Chevy was a quote, viciously effective put down artist. The sort who could find the one thing somebody was sensitive about, a pimple on the nose, perhaps. Definitely not the vibe I was picking up from watching his movies. And at number nine, James Corden. Late night host James Corden seems like a sweetheart on TV, and he's beloved by many around the world because of this. But his reputation off camera is quite the opposite. And he's actually known to be awful to staff on set and even fans too. His reputation has gotten so bad that when he did a Reddit AMA back in 2019, tons of people used the thread to share their terrible interactions with Corden. One user reminded everyone about the time that Corden showed up to a private writers guild meeting to advocate for lower pay for TV writers, even though they're known for being paid pretty low wages already. Another spoke about how they saw the movie A League of Their Own being filmed. And during the filming, they saw Corden throw multiple tantrums over minor things. The last person said that they had tea on all the late night hosts, including Corden, saying that James Corden is known as an <laughs> among writers and Jimmy Fallon is an alcoholic. However, Jimmy Kimmel is actually a good guy, apparently, according to this Reddit user. All in all, it seems that like Corden's a nice guy act is all fake. And at number eight, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts is another actress who has a pretty good reputation in the media. However, tons of people on Reddit expose that she's actually mean in real life. One of the commenters claimed that they had worked with her on a photo shoot, and apparently the whole time she was basically screaming at everyone. And apparently it's a well known thing that when cameras are not rolling, she is terrible on set. Another popular rumor is that the cast of the set of the movie Hook hated her so much, her nickname was quote, Tinker Hell. However, to her credit, she had just ended her engagement with fellow actor Kiefer Sutherland after learning that he was cheating on her. Apparently, Roberts decided to not give herself a break after the split and started filming Hook days later. And even though there were rumors that director Steven Spielberg hated working with her on that movie, he also came to her defense when asked about her behavior. He said, quote, Julia probably went through the most trying times of her life, and it was simply bad timing for all of us that she happened to start on Hook at that low point. And at number seven, Mike Myers. This one breaks my heart, but the comedy legend is actually really terrible in real life. He's known for being mean to colleagues, fans, and his personal assistants. In an interview with the AV Club, Mike Myers' Cat in the Hat co-star Amy Hill shed some light on how bad he can be on set. Apparently he hired an assistant, and their entire job was to follow him around all day and feed him chocolate from a Tupperware container when he wanted it. She also exposed that he was a diva, making everyone wait around for him, as well as micromanaging everyone on set. The director of Wayne's World, Penelope Spiras, is another colleague that had some choice words to say about Myers. She called him, quote, emotionally needy, and saying that he, quote, got more difficult as the shoot went along. And at number six, Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock is another star that has shocked people with just how mean she can be in real life. When fans have had the chance to meet her in real life, they might be expecting to see warm characters like her role in The Blind Side. But that's not the case. A former fan named Denise Codes told Star Magazine in 2012 about a run-in with Bullock. Apparently her and her husband, who was a veteran in a wheelchair, were out for a walk. And the couple ran into her during the filming break. Apparently the couple asked for an autograph, but things did not go well. Denise said, quote, Sandra was so rude. She covered her face and yelled. He just wanted an autograph and she actually yelled at him. Now I understand not having the time to greet fans and how annoying it probably is to be hounded, but like a single wheelchair bound veteran and his wife, what, in what world does their polite request for an autograph warrant a yelling match? You know, we don't know the full story, but it's, that one's pretty bad. Halfway number five, John Hamm. 
So this one is extra juicy because it involves one celebrity calling out another. In this case, Kathy Griffin called out John Hamm for being rude to her at a party. In her memoir, comedian Kathy Griffin shared a story about John Hamm confronting her at a party, brutally asking her who invited her. He even went on to make comments about her quote, failed career and mocked her age. At the dinner, she was speaking with Jack Nicholson. When Ham came up to her and asked her, quote, what are you doing here? Then she replied, quote, I earned my seat at the table. What are you doing here? Kathy said that John continued to get drunk as she was discussing Rupert Murdoch with Jack, where she continued saying, quote, Hammy picks that moment to start whispering, boozy yammering into my ear. First it was him saying, you know your Emmy isn't a real Emmy. I let that one go. But he whispered, you're so old. And Kathy admitted it was not only the rude comments that pissed her off, but the fact that he was interrupting some precious time alone with Jack Nicholson. And honestly, I just have no idea how John Hamm could make those comments and not think that Kathy Griffin was going to blast him for it. And at number four, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Catherine Zeta-Jones gained a reputation as a mean girl after it was revealed that she made some questionable comments to a young fan. Allegedly, when an eight-year-old fan told Zeta-Jones that she wanted to become an actress, the fan was left completely devastated. The girl recalled the awkward moment years later, saying, quote, she turned to me, looked up and down and said, quote, you're pretty enough, I suppose, then went back to her conversation. I went from feeling at ease in the world to constantly thinking about how everyone was judging me on my appearance. But that's not the only comment that has gotten Zeta Jones backlash. In one interview with The Mirror, she said, quote, I'm sick of being humble. I really am. Sorry, I'm rich. Sorry, I'm married to a movie star. Sorry, I'm not so bad looking. And based on those comments, I'm definitely sensing some mean girl energy. And at number three, Katherine Heigl. Katherine Heigl quickly became one of Hollywood's most beloved stars, but she ended up earning herself a bad reputation just as fast. She first became a household name on the show Grey's Anatomy, but she burned bridges with the show in 2008 when she actually pulled her name out of contention for an Emmy Award after being nominated. Heigl said in a statement, quote, I did not feel that I was given the material this season to warrant an Emmy nomination. And in an effort to maintain the integrity of the Academy organization, I withdrew my name from contention. But of course, fans of the show, as well as creator and writer Shonda Rhimes, were not pleased and quickly found a reason to write Heigl off the show. Heigl got some more bad press after she decided to badmouth one of her own movies, Knocked Up, in a 2007 cover interview with Vanity Fair. After assuring a bad PR, she was essentially blacklisted from Hollywood. And at number two, Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg earned a bad reputation after he was interviewed by journalist Romina Puga and came off very rude, belittling her throughout. During their conversation, Eisenberg made tons of digs at Puga, like making fun of her interview style, joking that she had questions written on her hand, and joking that she was on his time when she joked that he should hurry up. During the interview, it seemed like there was a potential their banter was actually playful flirting, but Puga revealed later that she was hurt by the interview and his belittling comments. While Eisenberg felt that she found his dry humor amusing. Eisenberg said after, quote, I remember she was laughing. Even after she left, I said to people in the room, what a relief. Like that was the most funny, interesting interview I'd had all day. So his rudeness could just be summed up to miscommunication. And at number one, Ellen DeGeneres. Of course, I could not make this list without including the current queen of memes, Ellen. Ellen's fall from niceness all started when one of DeGeneres' former employees, Kevin T. Porter, tweeted out that Ellen was quote, notoriously one of the meanest people alive. And the replies of the tweet shared tons of negative interactions that people had with Ellen over the years. This sparked a whole wave of exposing, and not only of Ellen, but her show as well. And it was revealed that her show had a toxic work environment, and her staff were verbally berated constantly. There were even reports of inappropriate conduct by high-level producers of the show. So that's all for the list. Please let me know your comments below, and was there anyone that I missed? Before I head out, I'm gonna shout out some comments from my video on celebrities on Tinder. Emily said, sadly, I would think any celebrity account on a dating app was a catfish. For me, I just don't trust dating apps. Way too many core stories. I completely agree. I feel like most people would just not even, like, swipe left, you wouldn't even take it seriously. Then Julie Black said, unfortunately, I think online dating is going to be the new way going forward, especially now with having it to socially distance. I completely agree. I literally hate it, but I really don't think that there's any way forward without dating apps, sadly. Then Shaw Wright said, great video, Mackenzie. I use a fake name on Tinder just so that I remain partially anonymous. It feels amazing when I know so much about someone who doesn't even know my real name, giggle, giggle. But I got a great date from it, and yeah, he knows I lied. I'm not a liar, Mackenzie, please believe me. No, I believe you. I actually feel that's a that's not a terrible way to do things, putting a, a different first name on there. I, I don't think that's really lying or being too disingenuous. You just don't want your whole 
life online. Honestly, I, I might start doing that. <laughs> you might have given me an idea. All right, guys, that's all for the video today. Thank you so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and want to see some more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and I will catch you all in the next one.